Improvements to a Northern Hills airport will make things easier for an ever expanding list of people who call the area home away from home. Our Ryan Hill explains. Black Hills Airport is making some changes to the flight plan for those who use the tarmac here. In this facility, the tarmac at Black Hills Airport in Spearfish, formerly known as Clyde Ice Field, has seen some wear and tear over the years. Eagle Aviation, run by Channing Wagner, now owns the airport and wants to get new projects cleared for takeoff. Especially because airport numbers are soaring, Wagner says more people with second homes are landing in Spearfish. As we purchased uh, the business in May of this year, so we don't have, you know, I don't have a lot of that old data, um, but I can tell you, you know, from what my employees say um, and everything like that, I, I, we've seen it increase. It's increased year over year from the previous ownership stating that as well. The Black Hills have also long been a tourist destination, and even in the time of COVID, business has boomed for the Spearfish Airport. They can attribute it a lot to the COVID time frame. Um, you know, our Governor Nome, you know, the state was mostly open during that time and a lot of people were coming to the South Dakota. And, you know, I think that was a huge attribution to the Black Hills growing and people essentially finding it. With new aviators flocking to the airport, improvements went underway. First with sealing the tarmac and adding new coating to a runway. While there were cracks in the pavement, the funding for the project was even smoother. Stuff and the fact of, you know, we had more quantity than we needed, you know, and we were able to come in, you know, the, the work, the air, the runway wasn't as bad as they thought it was. The next and biggest portion of the project includes three hangars, each 12,000 square feet. That's one thing that's going to be huge within the next couple of years. There's a lot of interest for hangar, hangars being built. Wagner says he expects development to continue including a lounge area for pilots to catch some rest before they head to their next destination. Reporting for Coda Territory News in Spearfish, I'm Ryan Hill.